Okay, so uh, first of all, the, our setup is like, uh, let's begin with Windows 7. And I will use some Kali Linux. And, 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 and that's it. So first of all, uh, we've got, uh, yeah, it's not the first, but also important. Uh, we're not going to hack into uh, this real subnet. Because we have a lot of PCs in here, uh, I expect someone uh, will not be happy with this, okay? That we're gonna hack them as well. So uh, I brought my Mikrotik router and installed one additional subnet. So we're we still connected to the internet, but with dedicated Mikrotik router, okay? So in, in this scenario, uh, I have received some IP address from this router. Let's check it. Just to be sure, yeah, okay, I, I have some IP address like this one. It's going to be important for hacking, okay? Uh, so, um, basically, we have some victim connected to the internet and to the same subnet. I want to discover which websites he visits. Okay, this is quite simple. First of all, let me discover my victim in this network. So, I, I will use just an app. Uh, I'll have some plan. Just a second. So I will use nmap to discover the victim. Uh, I will type a few commands like nmap dash sp and say this is going to be uh, this subnet 172 uh, 25 200 slash 24. Let's discover someone. <gasps> We've got a lot of PCs in here. Okay, 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 okay. So let me show you. We have a few physical machines. Oh yeah, this one is our router board, Mikrotik. That's okay. Two virtual machines, okay, and two physical machines. Uh, you know what? Uh, I will not hack into my physical machine, okay? I will not hack into his physical machine as well. But I'll choose something like like which IP address this can be. One is Windows 7, one is Windows 8. Okay. This is gonna be this one. Okay, oh, oh, oh sorry. This one. This is gonna be my victim. That's cool. All right, first of all, I'll launch, uh, I'll launch, I'll launch RP spoofing. This is easy, do you know what's that, RP spoofing? That's quite simple. First of all, let me enable uh, the routing on this machine. So let me just paste the command to you know to type it manually. It's like quite simple. You probably know this command. Just I'm en enabling forwarding on my machine. That's okay. okay copy, paste. Well, now two more. A windows to execute ERP spoofing. I will ERP spoof. Spoof. Uh, my target is, my victim is 172, 25, 200, 191, probably. And the router IP address is 172, 25, 201. Okay, uh, this is like that. Mm, basically, being me in the middle, I will tell him that I'm the router, and I will tell the router that I'm him. That's it. I'm just in the middle uh, between the router and my victim. And this is going to be two-way communication, so I will spoof uh, it both directions. Okay. And this is like that. And this is like that. Launching spoofing this one, this one. Okay. It works. Now let's discover which websites my victim visits. This is not going to be too funny, but let it be like that. You are all snarf. So I'm listening. I'm listening on port 80 and expect my victim to visit some website. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, 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 almost cracked. I see a lot of guts, posts. Uh, 
maybe something interesting. But uh, basically, I expect him to visit his uh, favorite website. Oh, okay, I, I see this favorite website, and this is this one, eventdss.tl. We do know this website. <laughs> yeah, it's probably you know. Okay. I got bored of this text, okay? It's not like hacking like to read some text. It's not interesting. I want to see some pictures, okay? So uh, to do this, I want to drift net. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, drift not. Drift not because I'm just a little bit stupid. Okay, and let him surf to this website content. I'm not sure if I uh, will see anything well, but oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, uh, just for you to understand why this presentation happens on two machines. I want to show you that this is for real and this is not like virtual game, yeah? It's not virtualized like completely. Uh, he's surfing for real and I'm not spoofing this website, not spoofing yet. Uh, I'm just capturing this traffic by using man middle attack and I see all the pictures. Uh, basically, I know all those faces. I got bored of those faces. Can you show me something interesting? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh I'm not advertising anything. Uh, he probably just reading news. Yes? Yeah, this is TVNet website. Okay, that's good. Uh, I got bored of those pictures as well. It's not prone. <laughs> not interesting. Um, so, uh, let's wait just a little bit uh, while my victim connects to some more interesting website. What was that? What was that? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, could be my victim is a little bit hungry. Yeah, he's getting hungry. That's good, that, that's good. You know what? I want to capture his uh, order. He wants to place some order on the, this website. I want, I want to capture this order, okay? So to do this, mm, I do it quite simple. Uh, I will execute uh, in the middle proxy to do this, uh, just in case. You see, I'm still RP spoofing him. That's good. So now, uh, now, 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 now. I'll copy one more command. Is anyone able to explain me this command? IP tables, NAT, pre-routing, port, the 80, 80, 80. Port redirection, that's it. Nothing really special, okay? Uh, because man the middle proxy runs on port 8080 by default. So I like it to do it like that. Okay. Now I expect him to continue surfing the web and to play some order. Okay, I'm not watching. <laughs> I'm not watching, okay? This is a completely different machine. This is it. What's he's typing? Do you know? When placing orders, he types some name, surname, phone number, physical address. We will see it. I expect it to see. I expect. Oops, oops, oops. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Order. Can you please play, uh, place your order once again? Okay, I, I wasn't capturing from the beginning, okay? You probably saw it. By the way, uh, I will see something interesting. What operating system does he use? It's win yes, it's Windows, Windows 7, which is Windows NT 6.1. And which uh, browser is he using? Just as simple, yeah, okay. So let's check if I see some. I only see gets. 
No posts. I want to see my post. <laughs> no, this not give me as funny. No, no, no. It was just working. Sorry. Can please, uh, can please play some uh, order just from the beginning. Just quickly, like. Well, 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 something works. Yeah, sometimes it's just a matter of time to capture this event. I'm looking for posts, not guests, but posts. I see some requests, like post this one. And now expecting to see one more post. Yeah, post teams. Well, 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 well. Okay, sorry for the first time. The second time is much more interesting. C can you tell me his name and surname? Can you tell me his phone number? Maybe you, you know where is he living? No? Maybe you also know his door code. But I do know, I do. This is the door code, the address, and his name, surname. Okay, just a little below, just a little below. Also, you can see some geodata and the uh, email address. This is personal data, like name, surname, the phone number, and address. Uh, okay, in, in fact, he is not Jan Zbernic. He, he's Mr. Tom. How, uh, so can can you please Tom tell me, are you happy with this that I am seeing your personal data? Of course not, because uh, uh, also this is uh, prohibited by Latvian law, uh, and uh, this company, for example, Google, does not protect this data. Uh, yes, uh, this data comes under uh, personal data protection law in Latvia, but it's not any offense to Lulu, okay? Because there are hundreds of Lulus like that around. You can order from some, someone popular, popular else, and you will see that they proceed data with unrestricted, unsecured HTTP protocol. Uh, so basically, I'm able to capture this communication just simply because I'm capturing HTTP. They are not using SSL. They are not using digital certificates, and that's it. This is uh, as simple. Again, it's not like uh, uh, only Lulu and that's it. You know, popular food delivery systems in Latvia probably can name a few, quite a few, yeah? Uh, they all use the system and a lot of internet shops. So uh, any hacker can extract this personal data and abuse user layer. Uh, and we can collect those data and sell to someone who is interested in this data. Uh, can you tell me, Tom, if you have noticed my, presentation, my, my presence in this, uh, in this system? Yeah, no. You cannot notice that. I'm just playing main and mill game. Okay, by using this software, I can also alter traffic. Uh, we are short of time just for you to understand that this is possible, this is easy and possible. Uh, such proxy uh, programs are able to update traffic, not just simply capture. I can order this pizza to, to my address, <laughs> like this one. This is as uh, simple. But some uh, manufacturers also provide the data of, of order details. Like you have ordered some particular pizza by this price, and you can modify this price. Uh, when buying something on their website, you cannot modify the price. You just simply buy it, okay? But if you're using some proxy, you can update this field in real time and buy, not by five, but by three euros. You want some discount? <laughs> okay, this is easy. This is easy, that's it. Okay, so now we know something about uh, our victim, mm, like uh, which browsers he is using. Uh, not this one, okay. Uh, 
Uh, also, we know his favorite places like event.dss.lv. We know also operating system version. Mm. Yeah, forgot one more thing. Yeah, 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 completely forgot. Forgot, forgot about what? Some website, some websites are protected with SSL. Is it? It is. Yeah, that's it. Just for instance, Facebook. Can you please navigate to Facebook.com? Free W Facebook.com and uh, it, okay, you, you probably do not see it, but uh, it navigates to HTTPS Facebook.com. If you want to check my traffic, you will see that I see nothing. I see just nothing from this traffic. You see the first get, and this is the last for me. Because the Facebook has redirected him to HTTPS website, and now it's secured with certificate, and you can see the certificate. Okay, uh, the issue is that most of us never look this this site, just everything goes, looks all right, that, that's it. Uh, can you please uh, close the browser? Uh, I want to do something special about it, and uh, in particular, I will launch SSL strip uh, which will prevent uh, HTTPS redirection and also forcibly close existing connection and listen on port 88. Let me show you. Oh, oh, oh not, not, not like this. Not like this. SSL strip. This program does not break into SSL, okay? But it prevents you from opening HTTPS from redirection. Can you please, Tom, navigate to Facebook right now? using any browser. Also, it's not about a breaking system, it's about just the web protocol, so you can uh, navigate from your mobile phone. It doesn't really matter. Mm. Can you please type in HTTP dot No? Yeah, it switches to S. Just let me check if I do it right. Because you know, I'm a little bit. Should be like that. Just once again. Uh oh, it can be cached in some way. Can you please clear your cache and uh, do it once again? Oh, it's redirecting from Facebook.com, not free W Facebook.com, okay? Could be some other idea. Come on. Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry. It happens. In private. No, basically I see some issue with my SL strip probably. But routing is okay. Okay, like this one. SL strip. I'm still working. No, it works. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this trick will not work if you have HTTPS and fav favorites, okay? This program does not break into a, a SSL communication. This program doesn't prevent you from opening a, a SSL. No, no, no. It only works with redirection. When you navigate to some website which requires uh, SSL, like let me navigate to some website, of, I don't know, like this one, in private, freewss.lv, and you see this website redirects me to HTTPS automatically. In this case, oh yeah, this is quite the same. Now it works in here. Just a little bit patience. And uh, he was not redirected to, 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 to 
uh, HTTPS. In fact, my computer was redirected to HTTPS. So now I'm having HTTPS session to that website. I'm man in the middle. I'm still man in the middle. So basically, he comes to me. I'm capturing this traffic. I'm communicating by using HTTPS to SSLV. And then I return back HTTP, HTTP to him. <laughs> this is as funny. So now he is vulnerable to this uh, sniffing attack as well. OK, so you need to uh, look carefully at URL if you're really using HTTPS, OK? So uh, basically, that's it. The first part, the second part. We are out of, uh, running out of time, so uh, I will do it quickly. We'll continue working with Internet Explorer in Windows 7. Um, I will launch one more Linux. Because it's updated, with the meta exploit is updated on this uh, Kali 2. So, so sometimes I'm using Kali 1, sometimes I'm using Kali 2. Yeah. Uh, so uh, now I know his favorite website, which is event.dss.lv. This is funny. This is good. First of all, I will spoof it. So on Kali 1, I'll do like that. I will disable pre-routing and port redirection. OK. Uh, I know that uh, an IP address of this Kali 2 is, just a minute, let me log on. Let me check my if config. An IP address of this machine is this one. And I will execute an exploit on this machine. This exploit will uh, execute buffer overflow on his computer and his browser and uh, I will take complete control of his machine. So to do this, I will launch uh, MSF console, which is Metasploit Framework console. I will use some particular uh, exploit. Let me magnify this for you. So this is going to be exploit, uh, which works on many operating systems. So I'm typing multi. This exploit is against browser. Browser. And in particular, this exploit exploits Adobe Flash Player vulnerability. Do you know what Adobe Flash Player is? Do you like it? No. No? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> this exploit is a little bit new, a little bit. Not completely new. It was published on July. So uh, in July, there uh, were published free uh, Adobe exploits. Uh, uh, how frequently do you update your Windows machines or Linux machines as well? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, let me show you targets. So this exploit can target both Linux and Windows. Just for you to understand that this is not about Windows, OK? It's about Adobe. <laughs> OK, I said target, target zero. Now, um, I will create web server. So set server port uh, as 80. And I will set URL, URI path of root. So uh, I expect Tom will navigate to uh, the website, to the root folder. And I will capture this. OK, so about payload. Um, Payload is wires, which I upload to this machine. So payload is like Windows. Matter Preter, you probably know this one. Yes? OK, penetration testers definitely know. Reverse TCP. Mm. Come on. Reverse TCP. OK. I want this hacked machine. To connect back to my machine, oh, I forgot my IP address. OK. What's my IP address? If config, this one. Copy. So set listening host as like this one. Well, that's it, exploit. Now I have the web server running on my machine. 
on port 80. And also, I have Matter Predator Council running on this port. And I will wait for incoming connection from hacked machine. But, but to make it happen, I will also uh, use uh, uh, one more trick, uh, which is I will DNS spoof uh, this machine. So I have prepared the file. Sorry, uh, we are running out of time, so we need to do it quickly. Uh, in case my victim opens this website, navigates to this website, event.dss.le, in fact, he will be redirected to, to my IP address, to IP address of my Linux, okay? And I expect him to get exploited. So now, I'm launching the DNS spoof command. This looks like that. DNS spoof. File, root, desktop. It's located in my desktop. DNS.txt. It's okay. Now it's listening. Can you please to, uh, navigate to your favorite website? Well, 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 can you please uh, cache, clear the cache, yeah. The issue is that he doesn't, oh, no, it works. Uh, he doesn't really need uh, to go to DNS frequently. He has cached value, but now this should work, okay. And now something happened. What exactly? I have MetroPress session opened. Okay, that's good. So I have sent him some specifically crafted HTML with file uh, which contains vulnerability. Oh, not vulnerability, but exploit. He has vulnerability, okay? So uh, sessions interact one. I want to navigate to this session. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Get user ID. Oh. Process list, first of all. Now, I see the process list of this machine. That's good. Uh, get process ID. So I'm living in, uh, into some particular process. 3512, this one. I got hacked into this memory, in this process memory. OK, that's cool. Uh, so let's migrate to, to another uh, executable, because I expect him to, 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 to close the browser. Let's try it a little bit. So I'm leaving browser. Uh, possibly the browser will close and reopen again. That's it. But I'm into session. Uh, uh, yeah, that's why it opened session two. But I'm uh, located in another process. Get process ID. 2004. So basically now he can close his browser. And, and this is OK, because, because this is simple. I'm living in Explorer XZ. Okay, mm, uh, let me upload, upload some gift. You know, in this conference, we share gifts. Yeah, so let me share some gift to him. Upload splash cdb dot xz. Let me try it. Get working directory. Yeah, he's not administrator. Okay, um, okay. Let me upload to his home folder and execute this gift. I'm sorry. Dash file. What is it? <laughs> Your personal files are encrypted. That's fine. That's not the end. <laughs> Give me one more minute, okay? Two more minutes. Windows 8. I need your Windows 8 in place, okay? Oh, this one, okay, let me kill it. Uh, I want f uh, some ransom first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be like that. Now, uh, do you think this is about Windows 7? 
Do you think this is about Internet Explorer and, and Bill Gates is guilty? No, 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 no. This is not about, again, not about embedded system. Now you see the Windows 8.1, which is all, almost the latest operating system, okay, almost. And it also has some Firefox installed, which is not really uh, old one. It's outdated just a little bit. Uh, so let Tom navigate to my exploit. This is the same, avantgss.lv, okay, let's try it. Not this one. Um, you haven't closed this one, so again, IP config flush DNS. Um, I put this session on background, session one. Could be I will return back to this. Okay, now let's navigate to your favorite website. Uh, okay, I'm not spoofing this machine. Uh, I'm spoofing some other machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me spoof your uh, IP address, which is, can you please tell me your IP address? This one. Because this is another victim, just simply another victim. That's it. So can you please open Firefox and navigate to, to, to my website? I just want to show you that this is not about Internet Explorer, okay? <coughs> I'm setting stage. Yeah, setting stage, I have some session. Uh, do you understand that this uh, unsuspecting victim uh, just simply navigates to his favorite website this is not like uh, specifically crafted website. No, no, to this, some official website, okay? Uh, so, um, sessions interact free. I'm in. Um, just to make it quick. Webcam list. Webcam stream. Tom, can you please show me your face when you first saw, saw that virus? <laughs> so for you to understand that this virus can be put into the clone of the same website as the clone. I can clone the website, copy website to my machine, and insert some additional gift, just a gift, into this website. Do you like it? And now that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peter. Uh, this was this was great presentation. Unfortunately, we are seven minutes behind schedule, so no questions. But I hope after the panel Outside. you'll be available or during the panel for those who really want to ask Peter something. But we have panel running in venue one, so that's where we are going. Please don't forget to fill in the feedback forms if you participate in the lottery. Thank you, everybody. That's all for venue three for today. It's been my pleasure. <laughs>